Here we've got two models of cardiac muscle tissue. First, we're gonna look at this smaller model, make sure it's in view, this smaller model, and identify the key points here. You can tell that it is cardiac muscle tissue by two key features. First of all, we can see this branching of the cells or the fibers that we call them. So there's this branching up here, branching down there. And another key feature that you can use to recognize um, cardiac muscle tissue is intercalated discs. And they're represented right here in these like jagged black lines. These are the junctions between our cardiac um, muscle fibers. So here we go. So those are intercalated discs. This right here, these um, gray items, those are uh, nuclei. And you can see striations that are characteristic of cardiac muscle tissue. So I think that's all you need to know for this smaller one. There we go. Now we'll move on to the larger muscle uh, or the larger model. So again, you can see branching. See how this is all one um, cell fiber, um, or rather cell because we call cardiac muscle cells, not fibers. So it's one cell right here, but you can see a branch up here and a larger branch down here. You can see intercalated discs represented right here. Um, you can, you actually don't see any nuclei in here, but that's because we have a centrally located nuclei deep within the center of this cell. Um, but again, you can see striations on here, striations, striations. Um, you can see the branching, and you can just imagine that there would be a centrally located nuclei deep in the middle of this. And I believe that's all you have to know for cardiac muscle tissue for our lab practical in class.